Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your full moon reading in Gemini and it's going to be a lunar eclipse. Make sure you check out the end of your reading as I'm going to give you specific information about the energies that we can experience, that we're going to experience during this time, okay? And a little bit more about the... Uh, the, the full moon that's coming in. Um, but as I always begin, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support you continue to give to our channel. A little bit about this reading. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus signs. Keep in mind that these energies will flip-flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. You could also be picking up on, a, on an energy that is surrounding you. And I always want to say hello to our cross-watchers. Keep in mind we are slating this reading for the full moon, but this could have been something that happened three months ago. Could be something that's going on right now. Could be something that's going to be coming in in the near future, okay? Could have even be something that happened last year. So always keep that in mind. Um, you guys, this reading is a very mini reading. And I always say this because a lot of people get upset when they're not a full reading. I have plenty of full readings on my channel, okay? But for this one alone, this is only for you to be able to set your intentions. Setting your intentions during this time is so, so, so important because you can utilize that energy to really... Thrust yourself into the future. Thrust yourself into the goals and dreams that you have laid out for yourself. And so that's why we do this, okay? Um, for the full moon intentions, if you don't know how to do it, that link is below. So just click on the link and uh, there's a video showing you exactly what you need to do to set your intentions. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, please subscribe to the channel. It helps push our, my readings out so much further. And if you would, give a thumbs up to the reading. That helps a lot too. Can you do me that favor, please? Give a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button and right next to it is a little bell hit that bell and every time i release a reading you'll be notified and i'm going to i'm working on it right now but i think i'm going to do for the very first time 2021 readings oh my goodness i'm getting excited about that because i got new decks in and so i'm trying to gear that up okay don't forget we do private readings and now we are ready to get started on with your reading Hello, my Sagittarius. Okay, you guys, and a happy Sagittarian season, too. All right, so let's see what's going on, what energies are happening for you as you set your intentions. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th and 30th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius? Ooh. Okay. We're not wasting any time. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions for the full moon occurring on November 29th and 30th, 2020. Okay. Spirit, divine, creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th and 30th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius? Spirit, divine, creator, universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th or 30th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius need to know. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on November 29th or 30th, 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? Ooh. All right. 
lot of nervous energy with this deck. But the Sagittarius need to know as they set their intentions on the full moon. Wow. Okay, my loves, let's see what is going on with the Sagittarius. Sagittarians. Wow, Scorpio's got the same card, I just believe. Oh my God, was it so? Uh, the same cards literally have been coming out for almost everybody in, in the readings. I mean, it, they literally have. So we are literally working with the same energy for this full moon and this lunar eclipse. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. You're being warned about something, Sagittarius, and you're ignoring it. It says the spirit is trying to tell you that you're not doing something right. You're not making the right choices about something. And you're being warned, but you're ignoring you're ignoring the signs. You're ignoring them. Be very careful. Be very, very, very careful. You don't want a birthday season where things really should be, you know, working for your good and it's working against you. Let yourself receive. And I'm when I'm reading this, I'm looking at let yourself receive advice. Let yourself receive what somebody is trying to tell you, you know, not to be thick headed and, and stubborn. Okay, allow others to give you loving care. Receive with guilt or without guilt or apologies. I'm, I'm really feeling like you're, you need to understand that somebody's giving you advice or somebody's trying to tell you something. They're doing it because they love you. And don't push them away. Don't push them away. Protection. You, your loved ones, and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. You're being protected right now because you're making some bad decisions and you're not paying attention to spirit. The spirit loves you so much that you're being protected even in this time period where you're not being as wise as you could be. And again, if this is not you, this is an energy that's around you or you're picking up this energy off of somebody. Could be your cross watcher. Keep, keep your eyes on your targeted intention. I feel like you've, you've taken your eyes off of your targeted intention. I feel like you're going on, on a different path. Look at here. This is the bow and arrow. This is you right here. This is you. I just noticed that in that card. This is you. You're not, you're not going in a direction to hit your target anymore. You're off the target. You're, you're, you're not seeing what you need to be seeing anymore. You're looking in another direction, and that's not your target and intention. And spirit is trying to warn you to bring you back on the right path, but you're not paying attention. Believe and trust. Wow. These same cards are coming up. You're not trusting and believing that it, because it's, if it doesn't happen the way you want it to, um, I feel like you're, you're, you're blocking everything out. You got to believe and trust that even if it's not going in the direction that you want it to go, it's working for your highest good. And you have to trust that. New home. So it may be time for you, some of you all to get a new home. But moving is a step in the right direction for you. Some of you may need to move. You may need to move. Either you need to move, you need to physically move, or you need to create a space in your house that is new. You might need to redo your bedroom. You might need to have a new... Uh, I feel like some of you, it's the energy of the house. It's what you're bringing in the house that's not working anymore. So it needs to look like a new home with behaviors and everything. But for some of you, you really physically need to move to a new home. Because where you are right now, it's not working anymore. Reconsider. So reconsider what you're doing. Reconsider these choices that are being made. You need to reconsider it. And when you do, it's going to be a success because spirit will be guiding you again. I feel like right now you're in a space right now where you're not allowing the guidance of spirit. And again, if this is not you, this is an energy that is around you that you're picking up on. Okay. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time. Bye-bye. Hello, you guys. Okay, I am here to give you a little bit more information about this full moon, this lunar eclipse that's going to be in eight degrees of Gemini. And considering where you are, it's going to be coming in even in, um, in the late evening hours of November 29th or November 30th. Okay, so just considering where you are on the planet. Um, but just a little bit about these, these reading, uh, this uh, eclipse. Um, eclipse are one of the most important cosmic events that we can experience. 
okay? They signal big endings and beginnings and usher in change. So keep that in mind that a huge change is going to happen during this time. Now, during eclipse season, and especially with an unprecedented um, seven in the past year, the motto is expect the unexpected. Oh my goodness, expect the unexpe unexpected. Now the partial full moon eclipse in Gemini is the second to last eclipse before the end of 2020. And so this year we have had a total of seven eclipses. Okay, you guys, seven, which is very rare. Most years we've had anywhere from four to five maximum, but this year it's been seven. And um, this is a, uh, a, a penumbral eclipse, meaning that it only appears a little darker than usual as opposed to a full or total eclipse like the solar eclipse that we'll see on um, December 14th in the sign of Sagittarius. But the effect from the partial eclipse isn't as intense as the full one, though the impact is, is still going to be felt, especially for those who have personal planets in the signs of uh, Gemini or Sagittarius. Now, we may find ourselves feeling chaotic, um, irritable, tired, agitated, and sleepy around the eclipse time. And we can have a wild and extreme um, uh, time when we're dreaming as well. So keep that in mind. Your dreams can be very wild and very extreme. Alternatively, many of us love the fun and exciting eclipse energy and love riding the flow of new possibilities. And we are each so unique. So you know, you're going to feel it into uh, yourself. You're going to feel it deep within yourself, these um, changes and excitement. But traditionally, eclipses aren't the, uh, the best time to do the typical set intentions or release ceremonies to travel, make new commitments, you know, sign contracts or start brand new projects. This is the time for that. So when you're setting your intentions, don't do it the normal way. Really think big this time. Okay, and it's best to rest, uh, meditate, pray, and tap into your um, your energy around this eclipse time as well. Um, if possible, wait to sign contracts or make firm commitments until a few weeks pass um, past the uh, eclipse season. So always keep that in mind. Now, when new relationships, contracts, or projects begin during eclipse season, they are often they often carry the energy of the eclipse and can feel chaotic over the long term. So always keep that in mind. I know in ancient astrology, eclipses were very feared and people were warned not to venture out, get married, or do much around eclipse times. And it can feel like a deeply spiritual time when the veil is thin. Insights are strong and intuition is, is should be heightened. But big life changes can occur this week, especially for those who have the eclipse occurred near personal points in their natal chart, such as, you know, those with planets within five degrees of the eclipse point, which is eight degrees of um, Gemini and Gemini rise if you have a Gemini rising Sun or moon you can feel this um, Sagittarius rising Sun or moon you're gonna feel this and Gemini or Sagittarius as your north or south node you can really feel this during this time okay all right guys so just keep in mind that you may feel you know very airy ever you know changing your minds this week a lot could come about and you can feel mentally overloaded or mentally stimulated and spend a lot of time overthinking so just keep that in mind all right all right my you guys I hope that um, helped you a lot and don't forget set your intentions okay and think big all right bye-bye until next time